Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be adding Wi-Fi to my ThinkPad 380XD laptop. And no, your eyes aren't deceiving you, this is in Portuguese. I'm guessing a lot of you thought it was Spanish, myself included originally, but then I, I looked it up and it's Portuguese. Anyways, um, time to open this thing up, I guess, because... It is a brand new unit, and the reason why I bought a brand new unit on eBay is because um, I really wanted the driver disc, since I couldn't find any drivers anywhere else. Here's the box. And we have our um, like distribution thing, I guess. I don't know. Here's the CDN documentation. That's our first, so it looks like this is in... Spanish and or I don't know if that's Spanish actually. I'm, I don't know. I thought this was a floppy disk for a second, but it's a CD. It might not there might not be English anywhere in here. But here's our CD. This looks like this CD's in English. Here's documentation stuff, I don't know. Execute all CD. And let's pull this off. And here is the card. Not sure how, how exactly these work since I've never used them, believe it or not. Slide this in. It looks like that's like that. Alright, so I have uh, Windows 98 installed on this computer right now. Uh, so let's start it up. Windows 98 Second Edition, specifically, on an 80 gigabyte hard drive, which is massive. There's a lot of programs that that don't work. Like Scan Disk, just like hangs for like five minutes. So I completely disabled Scan Disk because it kept launching when I turned on the computer. I kept having to like forcefully stop it or whatever. Let's just, it's, it's 1998, yeah. Um, we're gonna put in the CD, actually. I'm not sure if this is exactly how you wanna do it, but let's just do automatically search for a better driver. It won't be in the A drive. All right, I don't wanna install this software now. I can install it from the CD itself. WPC 54GV3. Language, English. Looks like we can actually do stuff in English this time. We don't have to deal with selecting Wi-Fi networks in Portuguese. We could change it to Portuguese. I'm not going to, though. This package requires Microsoft Internet Explorer 6.0 or later to be installed on this system. Please install this software first. Well, um... I don't know why it would require Internet Explorer 6, of all things. Alright, I've installed Internet Explorer on this USB flash drive. Or I've put the setup files on the USB flash drive, rather. Alright, now it's time to install Internet Explorer. Hopefully I don't have to burn this to a disk. No, I want to look at the C drive. I want to look at removable disk E. Internet Explorer. Now run or run setup. IE6 setup.exe. I accept the agreement. And this should be a pretty fast installation because although actually USB 1.1 is slower than USB than CDs, so it should actually be pretty slow. Wow, Internet Explorer installs a whole bunch of other junk that really isn't needed on the system. Alright, let's restart the computer. Okay, now it's time to finally install our drivers. Click here to start. I agree to your license agreement. Insert the adapter into the PCMCIA or card bus slot of your PC. Please wait until Windows builds a driver installation information database. So I think I want to do C Win98 win CD. Alright, there we go. 
and let's eject. Alright, looks like when I ejected the disc, it, yeah, there we go. I'm going to try to connect to a secure network. But looks like it, it shows the password in clear. I'm going to block, block that out. Congratulations, your profile has been successfully configured. You are connected to the access point, but the internet cannot be found. Well, what's that mean? Alright, to cut a very long story short, after rebooting the computer, the Wi-Fi utility wouldn't load. No matter what I did, I couldn't connect to Wi-Fi, see networks, or anything at all. I thought this was it, and nearly ended the video. However, after some Google searching and only two blue screens of death, I found this. Alright, slight change of plans. Guess what I found? That's right, a driver. Alright, let's go back to my computer. And this time, let's install the drivers from our USB drive which are going to be the version 1.0.4.4 drivers which might be just the tiniest bit more recent except for the fact that this says modified 2005 card into the card bus slot. Then let's click next immediately. Come on, come on. Yeah, sure, I'll restart. Oh, we got a shortcut on the desktop this time around. Woo! There's our Wi-Fi icon. Let's open the monitor. No association with access point. Let's try connecting to a Wi-Fi network again. You are connected with, to the access point, but the internet cannot be found. Where's the internet? Let's try connecting to an insecured network. Alright, you are successfully connected to the access point and the internet. Let's see if that's actually true. Yeah. Oh, look at that! We got Google.com! That took like an hour, but... <laughs> um, Google.com, loaded on this computer. Let's search up Distropper 39B. Hey, look at that! We have our search results for Distropper 39B. It's actually running pretty well. Let's see if like old Reddit will work. Okay, I guess I can't I can't click on links, but I can go to the old net. Let's go to I think IBM.com in 1998 when this computer was brand new. Hey, look at that. We have IBM.com from 1998. That was that's pretty cool, I would say. So, what did we accomplish in this video? We eventually got Wi-Fi working. That took an absolutely um, ridiculous amount of time because uh, the drivers on the CD didn't work. I'll leave a link to the correct drivers in the description. In fact, they're the only drivers the Linksys still hosts. But this CD is absolute garbage for Windows 98. It doesn't work. <laughs> of course, I want to do the moment of truth time. If I restart the computer, will, will the drivers still work. It looks like it's doing something. Hey, We got the Wi-Fi icon. Or it's like half loaded, but who cares. There's our Wi-Fi. Let's open up the monitor. Well, that was a very successful video, surprisingly enough, after installing the Wi-Fi drivers from the internet. Uh, now I just have to figure out how to edit this down in the most concise way, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.